Hello everybody, this is Hop to the Hippity Hop bringing you another StarCraft 2 commentary and I'm going to be watching a game um, on Burning Steps by Tyriar, who's going to be spawning down here as the Red Zerg and Logic, IQQ Logic, <laughs> spawning on the top position as, I think that's the pink, yeah, that is pink, pink Protoss. Logic is going to be playing um, his Offerys, I think he usually plays Terran, um, but yeah, he's going to be playing his Offerys, and this is just a friendly um, Masters game, or actually, Tyria I think is in Diamond League, but um, I do know for a fact that Logic is in uh, Masters League, and I did cast a game um, of him facing Bob the Builder, which he did lose, but it was a Terran versus Terran, and crazy things happened in Terran versus Terran, but for the time being, this is going to be a ZVP. Um, burning steps if I haven't mentioned that already and the scouting probe is now going out for logic And yeah, these guys are really cool. Um, logic actually had the opportunity to face um, HD Starcraft as well as um, some other crazy high-level players, so um, he's a fairly um, Fairly uh, fairly good um, Terran player for what I'm known pretty high level And from the looks of it Tyriar is now going to be sending out his scout as well um, uh, Logic looks like he was going to pull back to maybe block the expansion, but um, that looks like it's not the case. Yeah, let's take a look at their APM here. So yeah, just note that um, APM really doesn't mean anything. It just helps with focusing, um, as well as maybe later on in the game when you need to do a lot of multitasking. But um, APM actually, um, you know, there is a slight importance to APM because you do need um, at least 100 to be a pro player. Um, just because in the late game, there's just so much you have to be doing uh, and multitasking at the same time, so it's not very easy. But oh, someone is going to be lagging there. Um, but for the time being, looks like a forge is going to be put down. I think um, Tyriar did see that, um, and a spotting pull is now going down. I think that's a 14, a 14 pull as well as a 14 extractor. Um, so Tyriar is going to be opting to get that early zergling speed. And logic here. Um, I do not know why he has a probe here. Maybe he's going for an expansion. Um, but from the looks of it, no, he's just kind of backing out for now. Um, he probably is going to be walling off this ramp here. Uh, maybe with cans and whatnot. And oh, actually, people are going to be chatting up a bit. This, note people, this is a live game um, that is being played right now. So as you can see, there's no, um, there's no replay bar right now. Um, but let's just look at the income tab. Yep, um, Logic is going to be going for an early expand. And against Zerg, this is very dangerous. Um, the Zerg player actually needs to do some kind of damage um, if he is going to be able to um, play on even even footing with this Protoss player. Um, but for the time being, um, since this expansion isn't up and running yet, um, uh, Tyriar can relax just a little bit. Um, but he actually should be opting to get a Rotorn pretty soon um, because early retrogression is very good um, against Protoss players. And Logic is now opting to get a lot of cans, especially on the top wall here. So this is actually a pretty interesting wall in. Um, I actually really like this, because <laughs> this ramp here is pretty narrow, and um, that is not very good uh, for Zerg players. And this is, yeah, very interesting, something you don't see too often, and this cannon is going to be warding off um, these Zerglings, and oh, unfortunately losing that Zergling, so too bad for Tyriar. Nicely placed Overlords by Tyriar, though, so he's going to know that an expansion is going to be going up, as well as still having a drone in his base, so yeah, just we'll just keep an eye on this drone and see what is going on. Really, the Zerg player... Um, Oh, actually going for an early layer. Oh, this is quite interesting. I, in fact, did ask for an inter interesting game. So, um, yeah, looks like Tyriar is going to be doing something interesting. I actually am not too sure what's going to happen. Um, maybe Munas or maybe even an early uh, Nidus Worm. Something crazy. Oh, looks like um, Logic did scout that um, Tyriar did have a drone hiding in his base here. So, oh, now opting to get that expansion. So maybe Tyriar is going to be trying to macro up. I, I'm not too sure. But yeah, we'll just keep an eye on that and see what Tyriar does go for. So a nice little wall in here um, by Logic, getting a Cybernetic Core, hiding it in the back there, um, and getting another gateway in the front as well. So yeah, this is a very cool wall in, as well as um, currently boosting that Zealous, so he's going to be blocking out the front completely. And let's see, what is this? A Hydroden going down. That's a really early Hydroden. There are no roaches, so um, <coughs> really those... Hydras could be pretty vulnerable, um, especially if um, especially if Logic does opt to get a lot of Stalkers out um, to take care of those Hydras. Hydras are very weak. They have 80 health, so um, they really need Roaches or some kind of um, Zerglings or any units in front of them um, to be taking the damage so um, Hydras can actually um, do the DPS they need to before they die. <laughs> Uh, but for the time being, it looks like Logic is going to be um, turtling in pretty hard here, uh, as well as getting that Warp Gate technology, which is something Protoss players um, definitely need to have um, in order to play. 
um, in order to play in general. <laughs> Tyrion here throwing down three spine crawlers um, at his ramp as well. I actually really like this play, um, using his overlords to spread the creep. Um, but it'd be nice to see some creep tumors, and yeah, Tyrion is doing that, gain creep tumors. Um, another queen would be nice to see as well, as well as an inject. Um, Tyrion really isn't um, doing too much with injections, um, but it really depends on style of play. Maybe he doesn't really have the, enough minerals to spend all those, um, all that money on the larva. That could be a reason why he's not injecting. But that is not really the important thing right now. The Robo Blade now is going to be going down for logic. Um, so probably, um, probably immortals is what I'm assuming, because <coughs> immortals, immortals are very good against roaches, um, as well as hydras, because um, the hydras, the hydra spine attacks actually activate the immortals' hardened shields. So that will work pretty nicely. Granted, Hydras do do a lot of damage, but yeah, from the looks of it, this looks like a very interesting game. Looks like spine crawlers are going to be coming in as well. So I really, really like this play. Um, this is something you don't see a lot of Zerg players opt to do. Uh, and JCC is lagging um, pretty bit here, uh, a lot here, but we're going to ignore that for now. But yeah, putting a forward position with these spine crawlers. Um, that is a really cool play. Notice how if. Logic did decide to attack, these spine crawlers would be tanking the, tanking the damage for these uh, Hydras. So, um, yeah, very nice play by Tyriar. Um, doing something very interesting that you don't really see, but one blunder, or one, one thing that um, Tyriar is actually making a mistake on is not getting that Groove Spine. That is a very crucial up, upgrade that um, Zerg need to get if they are opting to use Hydras. Um, just because that plus one um, range is just so useful, especially against these Protoss units. And that is a bunch of Stalkers coming up. Let's look at the army tab quickly right here. Um, pretty similar. Zerg is just about 10 supply behind, um, but that can quickly be changed because Zerg macro so fast and so hard. Actually supply blocking himself just a little bit here. Really needs to get uh, Overlord out, which is coming out. And it looks like a little attack is going to be going on here. And this Ze Zealot is going to be sniped out, but Tyriar is going to be backing out. <coughs> So this is actually a really interesting play. I like it. Um, ooh, that's kind of dangerous. Here I should have actually just maybe popped one one spine crawler up instead of pulling them all up, um, and that would have been a good time for Logic to actually attack. Um, he does have an uh, an observer here, so he did see that, but he did not opt to attack. <laughs> but regardless, nice job of Tyrion actually moving that up. And if I were um, Tyrion right now, I would actually opt to grab another expansion um, while while this Protoss. A Protoss opponent is walled in, and nice job actually placing his Zerglings here to see if um, if uh, Logic is going to be getting that uh, expansion, that third expansion. But from the looks of it, um, he is not really getting anything else but Stalkers. I wonder if he's actually going for Blink. Um, yeah, speak of the devil, he is going to be going for Blink. Um, nice job um, actually trying to pick off that gateway. And that is a lot of Hydra. I don't know if he's actually getting upgrades for them though. Um, an Evo Chamber would be nice to see, and Grooved Spines are now going up, so sp Hydras actually are going to have a lot more range, and they can be a little bit farther back, but... Oh, that gateway actually going down, so... This is actually pretty dangerous for uh, Q Logic. He does have a lot of Stalkers, though, so we'll just have to see what's going to happen. A lot of gateways being throw da thrown down right now, as well as a Robotics Bay. So yeah, once those Colossi come out, they're going to be doing a ton of damage to these Hydras. Nice Blink coming in for the flank from Logic. So great job on Logic's part there. Nice move. Actually opting to just skip the Hydras and go straight towards the base and seeing what kind of damage he can do. Nice job spreading his Stalkers um, to get a nice surround on those um, Terriers. So, you don't see that too often, um, Stalker is going for a surround in the Hydras. The Hydras, um, do note the Hydras actually do a lot of damage, they do quite a bit of damage. But like I was saying earlier, these Hydras are extremely exposed. Um, he really needs roaches or something to tank the damage um, in order to kill this. Nice blink micro by Logic, <coughs> showing his master skill level right there. Something to boast about, that is, that is quite cool to see. Um, you don't see um, too many people doing that, lower level people. Um, but. But, yep, this is going to be a pretty high level replay if you didn't know already. One Hydra just on the high ground, probably going to get picked off. Um, so yeah, it looks like Tyriar is in a little bit of trouble here. One Overlord is going to be picked off. Um, and these Blink Stalkers are very mobile, especially against these Hydras. Nice job blinking backwards, seeing that, oh, one unit is getting weak and backing off, backing off, blinking off. So very good job blinking. But Hydra from the back are going to be reinforcing, so... Um, yeah, that actually, the reinforcement really didn't do much. Um, Logic's Blink Micro is really good here. And, oh no, Tyriar is going to GG, um, just because Logic was able to get those Blink Stalkers out in time, as well as uh, Colossi soon. But yeah, that is going to be the game. It was pretty interesting. Um, as you can see, these are both Master League players, and um, yeah, that was fun to watch, guys. I just want to thank Logic, as well as Tyriar, for letting me cast their game. Um, and also, 
HD Starcraft for letting me use his channel. He doesn't really know this, but I go on his channel a lot, and um, I actually try to cast as many games as I can of people playing. Um, so that is what I do, and thank you guys for tuning in. This is going to be Hop Starcraft, and I'm going to be hopping off.